All right, it's that time again where we get to announce our top end user award. The way that these awards work is that our community submits organizations that are CNCF members based on contributions to the community and things that they have done. So we had three end users as part of this submission process leading up to this KubeCon. Coming in third place, a place where many of you have earned your PhD, PhD in the internet. I'd like to celebrate Reddit. <laughs> they support millions of daily active users, process billions of page views monthly, and they've provided us wonderful insights to things like the Pi Day outage, both things that might not go so well and their successes at the same time. Uh, really big thank you to Reddit on that front for being a great place to share, to learn, and to laugh. Coming in second place is Capital One. <laughs> Capital One was one of the first major US banks to fully transition to the cloud and providing us projects like Cloud Custodian and ways that we can stay tidy within our ecosystem. Now, Without further ado, the winner of this KubeCon's top end user award is Adobe. <laughs> Far beyond allowing us the ability to print to PDF, uh, <laughs> Adobe has been a wonderful actor within our community. Dave, thank you so much. It's been wonderful to have you as part of this community, this oh, ecosystem. Thank you, Taylor. Uh, <laughs> Would you like to say some words? Yeah, yeah, I would. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, you know, I, I just want to say, it, it, you know, first, I humbly accept uh, this award on behalf of everybody at Adobe. Um, you know, it's, a, it's an incredible honor and a privilege for us to receive this uh, for, from such an esteemed organization and community. Uh, at Adobe, our mission is to help uh, uh, the world, change the world through digital experiences. And I have the privilege of serving as the lead for the developer platforms team. And our own mission is to help Adobe developers to write better software faster. And the tools, the expertise, the capabilities that come from this vibrant CNCF community really are at the center of everything that we do to serve developers at Adobe. Whether it's Kubernetes or Argo or Backstage or Prometheus or Otel uh, or Envoy and so many others, uh, you know, all of these technologies are at the core of how we deliver on that mission. Uh, so, you know, I really want to thank also uh, my own team and the, the team and developer platforms uh, who have contributed to the CNCF community. Uh, uh, you know, it's, it, it's been an incredible journey for us with uh, over 5,000 contributions across 70 plus developers and 46 different projects across the CNCF community. <laughs> Uh, and I'm extremely proud uh, of the engagement that we have with the community. And then finally, I just want to thank uh, everybody here and everybody in the global CNCF community for everything that, that you do to enable us to deliver on that mission and make the life better for, de for developers at Adobe. We are all standing on the shoulders of giants, and many of you are those giants. So thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I do want to take the time to point out that Adobe worked on an end user journey report earlier this year. They released it in summer. I know many of you were enjoying the wonderful weather and uh, warmer times. I encourage you to take a look at this. End user journey reports are more of the story behind the why certain organizations came to the CNCF, what they're doing within open source, and capturing that intent. Uh, so take another picture. We'll last longer. Check it out. Let us know what you think. And thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to our next KubeCon in London. Uh, the puns are already brewing. I can't leaf well enough alone. Can't wait to spill the tea with you in London when I'm up here next. Thanks, everybody. See you soon. Hello, hello, everyone. It's nice to be back on stage uh, for what I think is my favorite part of KubeCon, recognizing individuals that have kind of gone 
above and beyond uh, their normal roles in our community. And as I, as I mentioned yesterday, we truly have one of the largest open source communities in the world. We have over a quarter million you know, contributors worldwide contributing to over 200 plus uh, you know, projects. And you know, this may be a little bit cheesy, but uh, you know, we kind of have this saying within you know, CNCF uh, staff that you know, truly the most valuable and most important project we have in CNCF is the community that we have all built uh, together uh, over the years. So, Without uh, you know, further uh, ado, let's, uh, let's kind of get into the community awards here. So uh, we have some new ones this year, which I'll mention, uh, but we always generally start out with our first award, which is our kind of top, top committer and, and top maintainer. So um, you know, of the kind of uh, 200 plus projects uh, out there that are in the CNCF, there are about a little over 1,000 uh, maintainers uh, here that support uh, and work uh, on these projects, and, and many of you are in the audience right now, and so before I kind of get into the, the fun awards here, I'd like to kind of have any maintainers in the audience kind of like stand up and all of us just truly uh, clap and recognize the work they do, because previously to David's point, like, you know, we are standing on top of the shoulders of giants, and you know, the maintainers are definitely a, a big part of that. So any maintainers, please stand up, and uh, let's uh, give them a, a big hand of applause for all the amazing work uh, that, they, that they do. Awesome. Awesome. Thank, thank you so much for all your uh, amazing work. All right. Let's get, let's get, let's get to it. So uh, committers, maintainers, kind of lifeblood of uh, CNCF. They do amazing work working on a variety of our projects. Uh, we have previous award winners here. I've bumped into a lot of you all, all already. Uh, amazing, amazing folks. Um, and, you know, this year uh, the existing maintainers have, you know, voted for you know, this year's uh, top maintainer, and I'm happy to uh, announce that this year, uh, Joe Stringer has uh, won this. So you can stand and we'll go clap. Hey, thanks to you. Thank you, Joe, for all, all the amazing, uh, you know, work uh, that you do, so thank you. We'll have all the awards backstage for you to pick up. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, Moving on. Uh, so, you know, open source is truly more than just, um, you know, uh, code, right? So, uh, you know, we have this kind of notion of we accept contributions, you know, from, from anyone and, you know, documentation is truly important, you know, good documentation makes for good projects. And this year, I'm happy to announce that we have two uh, new top documentarium, or we affectionately name this the Lorem Ipsum uh, Award here, because we kind of like to be funny. But I'd like to uh, congratulate Kuming and Haifeng uh, Yao as uh, top documentarians uh, this time around. So please uh, stand and recognize uh, uh, them. Oop, there he is. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much. All right, next up. So, we have uh, CNCF, we have uh, you know, uh, such a wide variety of uh, projects and um, you know, different special interest groups. CNCF has technical advisory groups, and these are kind of folks that work on specific areas, whether it's storage, networking, contributor strategy. And you know, we, we kicked off this award for the first time uh, last year, and Catherine Paganini uh, won uh, last year, but uh, this year uh, I'm happy to kind of give the TAGI uh, award to uh, Nancy John, if she could stand up. And we'll clap her. Thank you so much for all the work uh, you do. Thank you. Keep going. So, uh, you know, one of the awards we created, uh, it's been a few years ago, is um, this notion of the Chop Wood Carry Water Award. And, you know, this was basically created to represent basically all the work that happens behind the scenes in a project. You know, a lot of people, you know, work on fancy features, you know, nice UI bits, but, you know, what about things that help, you know, improve build times, kind of all the, the dirty behind the scenes stuff that truly make a project work. And so we created this award to kind of represent the people that do all these amazing things uh, throughout uh, our community. And you kind of look at all the amazing previous award winners here, uh, and many, many of them are in the audience. It's a, quite an amazing uh, list of folks. This year, uh, we have some new ones to add to the chop wood and carry water uh, you know, category. So uh, without further ado, let's go uh, mention them. So uh, Stefan Chaminsky, Ali OK, James Spirin, uh, Priyanka Sagu, San Sandeep Kanbar, and William Rizzo. So 
thank you so much for all, all the amazing work that uh, uh, you do. Thank you. All right, let's get going. So uh, this year we have a new uh, kind of one-time special uh, award that we're doing called uh, Lift and Shift. So some of you may not be aware, but the Kubernetes project kind of over the years has gone through a lot of infrastructure work to kind of improve to make sure that uh, it's truly a community manage and run uh, build process, uh, you know, lots of improvements to make sure that you know, the CDN distributing all the binaries runs on multiple providers. This was uh, an incredibly herculean effort uh, over the years to kind of get this done, and I'm happy to announce that it's finally uh, happened, and there was an, a huge cast of characters involved in this, so I really want to recognize uh, many, many folks that were involved in this. So, uh, lift and shift, there's a lot of folks here that will get the stand up, and I'll, I'll try to name them uh, all here. So, Tim, uh, Tim Hawken. Uh, Aaron uh, Crickenberg, Ben Elder, uh, Arno, Dims, uh, Mahan Ali, Ricky Sadisky, Michelle Shepardson, uh, Corey Oske, uh, uh, Trik, Marco, Justin Santana Barbera, Cole Wagner, Caleb Woodwine, uh, Hippie, and uh, Linus Arvar. So uh, please stand and congratulate uh, the folks for the amazing work. It's Thank you for all your work there. So, uh, you know, this year, you know, we're, we're kind of a year of anniversaries, right? Kubernetes turned 10, we're getting older, CNCF is turning nine, and, you know, we were talking a little about, you know, maybe it's time we truly start recognizing, uh, you know, you know uh, folks with kind of a, a, a lifetime achievement award. I feel we're old enough now that, you know, hey, maybe we should go have a lifetime achievement award and uh, start recognizing folks that have been with the community for an extremely uh, long time and have oversized uh, impact in their project and wider communities. So it's so the first year we're doing this, and I'm kind of happy. It's always fun to kind of like create awards behind the scenes with the staff. It's like the fun part of the job, in my opinion. So um, I uh, want to kind of announce the first time we're doing this, and the first uh, winner uh, of, of this award is, uh, sure, this is a recognizable figure for some of you, but I'm gonna invite him on uh, stage in about a second. So uh, Tim Hawken for an amazing amount of work. I don't know where he is, there he is. Come on stage, Tim. I'd uh, love to. Tim is one of the first people uh, I've met when I kind of came to this community, and I'd love to congratulate you on the amazing work you've done. You have an oversized impact, uh, for sure, across not only Kubernetes, but CNCF. If you want to say some things, of, it's been 10 years plus. <laughs> of this uh, so I did not have this on my bingo card for the week. Um, I'm, I'm humbled, I'm surprised, and shocked to be up here. Um, thank you all. Thank you to the foundation for keeping this thing running. Um, none of this would be possible without the hundreds of co-maintainers and SIG leads and chairs and people who, who run the project. Um, I just you know, do my little thing and, and I have a great time, but it's the community that really makes things go uh, and the thousands of contributors, thousands, tens of thousands of contributors yeah. who make this project uh, exciting and excellent and something that we have, I don't even know how many people here to talk about um, I will say thank you to my leadership at Google, who has given us a lot of room to maneuver and freedom and trust, uh, and uh, thank you, that wouldn't be possible without their belief in us and, and doing this project. Um, this has been the most fun that I've had in my <laughs> career, uh, and I hope that uh, it will keep going. Cool. I hope to be here again in 10 years yep. to, I won't give away the code name, but we've already invented it. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much, Tim, and uh, thank you for all the work. Amazing, amazing stuff you do. Truly, truly one of the nicest people in the Kubernetes committee. So that, that, that's uh, going to wrap up the awards, and truly thank you to all the contributors uh, in the audience. And, uh, you know, uh, everyone has been so helpful uh, over the years, and I hope this kind of continued tradition of, of helping folks out, introducing new folks to the community and welcoming them, uh, you know, continues. So thank you all for contributing uh, to CNCF projects and being part of this uh, lovely community. So, and thank you to all our lovely award winners uh, today. And uh, as a reminder, when all these keynotes are done today, go shuffle backstage and we'll kind of get you your, uh, your hardware. So thank you all and uh, we'll get on with the show. <laughs>